The debate over immigration intensified in 2006. In October, President Bush signed legislation to build a fence along the Mexican border to keep out illegal immigrants. But whether immigrants are legal or illegal, they come here for the same reason. They come here for work. Coal brought many immigrants to West Virginia in the early 20th century. Less known is the role that zinc factories played in attracting Spanish immigrants to the north central part of the state. We're going to tell you about that in this outlook with the help of a Spanish filmmaker. Luis Arjeo visited the community of Spelter in Harrison County and we followed him to get his story and the story of Spelter. <laughs> Thank you for this wonderful crowd that you have put it, brought in my house today. And thank you for the tortilla that I was able to make for you. Lord, we especially thank you for Jesus, our Lord and Savior. And it is his name that we thank you, and amen. 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 Luis Arjeo found many Spanish-speaking friends when he came to visit West Virginia to work on his documentary about Spaniards who immigrated in the early 1900s. There are sometimes uh, forgotten people. Mm, in Asturias, they, we don't realize that there are a lot of people who emigrated to the United States or somewhere else, Cuba or Argentina, and there were no possibility for them to return as uh, some of them were expecting to. El Conel Dinero, la madre dijo, vete para América porque ahí tienes que trabajar. Se vinieron para América. Él trabajó, pero no gustó el trabajo. ¿Y en qué trabajó aquí? En la fábrica de vidrio. Y era otra cosa porque vinieron para aquí, porque en, en Avilés sabes que hay muchos franceses. Uh -huh. Y ellos son los que empezaron la fábrica aquí, los franceses y he trabajado en la fábrica de los franceses aquí. O sea que franceses de Avilés y de, de yes. Castrillón tenían ya allí fábrica yeah, yeah. y aquí también. Y aquí también. Y entonces la gente... Ya, yeah, vinieron para aquí, los españoles aquí. Muy pocos españoles trabajaron en, la, en las minas. Las minas los italianos sí. Los yeah, italianos estaban en las minas. Yeah, pero a los españoles en las fábricas. En las fábricas. I'm looking for these forgotten people and I, I admire them. The immigrants came from Asturias in northern Spain, where Luis grew up, to the Clarksburg area to work. Many of them worked at the zinc factory in Spelter. Their new home was very much like the region of Spain they left. With mountains, with industrial companies, with coal mines, I think I'm going, I don't know, but I think I'm going to find a very similar way of life, a very similar way of uh, of take care of their roots, of her traditional way of um, think thinking or living or or and I think I'm going to find this in West Virginia. Luis's interest in the immigrants grew from research he was doing into the industrial heritage of Asturias. He found connections to West Virginia in his own family. Luis's great uncle had moved to Harrison County to work in the zinc factory. Luis remembers meeting relatives from America when he was about 12. They brought us some presents and we were shocked by those American people who arrived to our town our little village, and, and gave us, my brother and me, those presents. And okay, it was, it was something very curious, very, very, it was nice. This was the house where I was born. And the window that you see in front was the window I heard Bethenta holler about her pumpkin, because that was my bedroom. 
Ron Gonzalez served as Louis's tour guide during the week he spent visiting the descendants of Asturians in West Virginia. My father came here in March of 1914 aboard the uh, SS Hudson, and they sailed out of Balboa, Spain. And uh, my mother's family, I was guessing they came around the same time. I really don't have any documentation to that fact. Gonzalez's tour included a stop at the cemetery where some of his relatives are buried alongside many of the original Spanish immigrants. Yep. Yeah. Okay, wrong. I want to ask you something about the passing away of your, your parents, your grandparents, but also all the people, all people from Asturias who came here. There is a lot of Asturianos in this graveyard. My mother and my father, my grandparents, my uncles, Mario Perez, Mauro Perez, todos están aquí, todos Asturianos. What does it mean to me as a young Asturiano growing up in, in Spelter? It, uh, It left a hole in my heart when they passed. In this cemetery, Luis also visited his great uncle's grave for the first time. I never knew Tano. Uh, I know a little bit about his history about his life and well I think he must be a very good and funny person here a model of Asturian one Ron Gonzalez now lives in Shinston but he grew up in the nearby community of Spelter it's a tiny unincorporated town northwest of Clarksburg well-kept houses line the town streets, but not many people are around during the day. When Gonzalez was a child, this community bustled with the activity of daily life. This particular community has a, a strong history in this area. They've built the plant to what it was. They were the, back, the, the plant was built on our back. They're the ones that built the, built the community as well as the plant, as well as the stores. The, it was just, uh, it just, I just think it's very important that their story be told and their contribution to this area. Spanish families lived in many of the houses. Men walked to the zinc factory on the edge of town. The factory is now closed. This is where Gonzalez spent his career. Like Gonzalez, Josephine Alvarez grew up in Spelter and is the child of Spanish immigrants. Are you yep. ready? Sí. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Oh, yo me llamo Josefina Alvarez. Mi madre y mi padre vinieron de España. Mi padre se llamaba Manuel Alvarez Fernández. Mi madre era María González Menéndez. ¿De dónde es España? Eran de uh, Avilés, España. Embarcaron para los Estados Unidos en octubre 1916 en un tiempo que era de la Guerra Mundial. Bueno, mi padre era un hombre muy que le gustaba mucho la aventura. Él vino aquí porque le gustaba uh, el, 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 la mar y cruzar la mar y vino a trabajar porque pensaba que iban a hacer mucho dinero. Y seguro casi toda la gente española Uh, pensaban que iban a venir a hacer un, uh, mucho dinero y después volver para España y vivir como uh, 
como gente rica, pero a, a los pocos años de estar aquí, menos de 20 años para muchos, uh, vino la crisis grande. Y por causa de eso tuvieron que marchar de un pueblo para otro pueblo. Y a poco a poco la población aquí se dispersó por mucho uh, áreas de los Estados Unidos. When they left Spain, Alvarez's parents joined her uncle, who was living in Harrison County. In about 1933, they settled in Spelter, where her father eventually went to work in the zinc plant. She spoke Spanish in the home, but English the rest of the time. One tradition the family continued when it came to America was making Spanish sausage or chorizo. We had a little grocery store, and my mother, all the families here at one time, you could tell where a Spanish family lived because they had a little smokehouse in the backyard, most of them. And uh, my mother decided she liked to have a little bit of Spanish sausage for the family. That happens to be one of the main things that we have to use in our soups is uh, Spanish sausage and vegetable and, and other soups. And um, uh, she's put a little bit in the meat case and pretty soon people started coming in. They said, what's that? She explained to them what it was and they tried it and pretty soon you built up a little bit of a business on that. When she gave it up, she wanted me to quit too, but I said, no, we're just gonna keep up a little bit. And I finally had to give it up this year. Wow. I, I see this Asturian people here in West Virginia as part of my family, because Asturian people is like this. I mean, when, when you go out and you find an Asturian, it's like your brother. Luis spent a week exploring the history of Asturians in West Virginia. He came away with a lot of information and a new friend in Ron Gonzalez. Yeah, okay, very nice. I am bursting with pride that he is here. I'm humbled because he wants to know our story. I'm sad because the original settlers are not here to tell their stories. And I think Luis is a very nice young man who is interested in our story. And I'm just thrilled to death that he's here to, 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 to record our story. She was a heck of a nice lady. Board education, Luis Sarjeo expects to show his documentary in 2007. He's also producing a version with English subtitles.